That's right, it's a new trend in do-it-yourself painting, taking the look of geodes and turning them into art. You can guarantee each piece will be one of a kind. And Trisha Sass with Parkville Artist and Studio is all set up here at the Price Chopper Kitchen to show us how it's done. So yeah. a geode is is a geology rock, and I haven't heard of it since it's like a geology rock formation. Yeah, you like you studied these in science class in middle school. Yes. Right? Well, mine was in college, but let's <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> So geodes, so we're going to uh -huh. create a geode on a canvas here, mm -hmm. and I assume we're going to end up with something that looks like this? Well, I've been doing this for a little while, I'm practicing okay. a little bit. The first couple of tries, maybe not so perfect, maybe not exactly what you want. It might be your middle school geode. It might, <laughs> <laughs> but give it a couple of tries, because okay. after you practice it a couple of times, you kind of get the feel for it, and All then right. you get it kind of addicted. Well, you seem pretty excited about it, I so I would am. like to, I want to see how this works here. So what, right. what do we got to start with? So the first thing you have to start with are, I do. I use acrylic paints. Okay. Okay. Some others use old resins and all kinds of stuff. I use acrylic paints. Acrylic makes paints. it very simple. But you can get okay. a Hobby Lobby or any little place like that. Everywhere right? Every place you has get acrylic, acrylic paints. paints. Okay. All right. Um, I mix them with a little bit of water. Okay. Um, I add in a little bit of silicone. The silicone helps uh, these little spots show up. Um, they're called cells. Oh, and the silicone the will make that happen. I didn't look at this from an angle, so that's almost like a 3D type it of thing where it comes is. off the canvas in a way. For sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, once you add that little bit of silicone in there, mm -hmm. then um, you're going to mix it in very well. Get a couple of cups of paint. How much paint? I don't know. Have some fun with this. <laughs> you know, we don't want to get all scientific here. These might no. be geodes, but this is fun. We're not. We're not exploring geodes. We're creating them today. That's right. That's right. That's right. So pick a couple of colors that you like. Okay, usually white is going to be one of them. Okay. Usually black is going to be one of them. Okay. Um, those are going to kind of give you the the definition of the geode there. All, all right? right. And this is how hard it is. You ready? All right. We're just going to dump some stuff on here. This is my type of painting. Right. There's nothing hard about no this. No brushes. Everybody can do this. No Most staying within the line. Thick. We're going to use the black and the white. Okay. Okay. Just so kidding. we're going to see how they kind of oh, mix awesome. together a little yeah. bit. And you just practice a little, practice, kind of see what happens. Now you're putting it on styrofoam. I am because I don't have a canvas and here this, this morning. So okay. I'm just using it as an example for what to do. Okay, so you can't just pick up a canvas at any store like that and use it too. Absolutely. And you just got it stacked on some of the, yep. the Dixie cups there. And you're going to use your, your uh, white paint to kind of give the accents of the geodes. See how it's kind of starting to mm -hmm. mix together and they start to make those those cells in there. I can see how that styrofoam is really kind of absorbing, it whereas really the, is canvas absorbing. the canvas was might not do that. that okay, that's but right. no, I, that's very cool. Now, would you recommend starting with the darker colors and moving to the light? No, I would, I would the Go colors backwards. first. Mm -hmm. Do your colors first, do your white, and then do your black as a little accent on top of that. Usually okay. that's a pretty good system to follow. Well, let's okay? keep working here. So once we keep working, then, um, we're going to move on to the ex actual sample of a canvas we're going to use today. Okay. Again, I did the same thing with this one. I, I poured the paint on it. Oh, that one's cool. It's got little, little rock pieces. I just went through my there. boxes and found some stuff. Wow. I put some uh, broken glass. I put some glass in a bag and banged it up with a hammer. <laughs> that was another fun part. <laughs> um, I found some beads laying around and I dumped some beads on there. I mean, I have I have cabinets full of this kind of stuff. Really? Uh, I just dumped stuff all over there till I thought it looked kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I think afterward, I added maybe a little bit more white to give those accents on there. Yeah. Then here's the geode part that okay. makes it look phenomenal because when I got get, got to this stage on that painting, I was like, eh, it's okay. It's mm -hmm. not fantastic, but it'll do. This is the part that really makes it pop. Does okay? this help? Now, did you stick the, the, the glass and beads there with any glue or anything? No, or is that... I dumped them right on all that soaking wet paint. Oh, and it just sticks in the paint. And it just sticks right in the oh. paint. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then what? I, what? I, some of them maybe aren't stuck, mm -hmm. but that's okay because we're going to put something on top of it that's really going to make it oh, stick. Oh, just going to make it. This is uh, a two-stage epoxy. Wow. All right. Um, I order mine in the gallon sizes or the jug <laughs> sizes because I go through a lot. You can get this at Hobby Lobby or you can okay. even get it at um, Home Depot or Lowe's, something like that. Okay. All right. It's okay. a one-to-one -one ratio. We yeah, put mixing just chemicals over as here. much of the the one jug as you put of the other jug. Okay. Okay. This looks like dish soap consistency almost. Kind of, yeah. It's a little bit and you got your sticky. two liter bottle that looks like you I, cut I off did. There. I cut it off because I, once you use this for the epoxy, mm -hmm. you're not going to use you're it for anything else. You're not going to use it again. So, okay, so we mix um, it up one to one ratio. One to one ratio. Pour those in there. Okay. There. There you go. And mix Excellent. that up real good. Now, once I mix this up, it's going to start working. So you don't want to okay. sit at this stage. This is not the time to this go have a glass of wine. This is not the time to go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> or a cup of coffee or whatever. Coffee, yeah. Um, but once you mix that up, then you're going to dump it all over your painting. All right. And 
make a solid layer of this. Um, mix up as many as you want. Just keep dumping them on there. Do you want to spread it out with the brush or just kind of let it you know, sit and do I its thing? You know, I use this brush here. Um, I, I'll probably mix another one and pour another one on here, but yeah. I do use this like when I get to the edges to just kind of oh, yeah. smooth it out on the edges there. Um, okay. That makes it a little bit cleaner. Well, Trish, thanks so much for t showing us how to create the geo. This was way more fun than my geology classes. So I, I hope so. Thank you very much. <laughs>